Norman Hallett here with your next four minute drill for traders. In our last drill, we talked about a topic that's becoming near and dear to my heart the power of focus. We all know the benefits of staying focused on a task. Being focused is all about clarity of thought, pointing your mind toward one question or one task, and concentrating on getting the best outcome. For a basketball player, it's about scoring more points, helping your teammates, and then staying back on defense. As the basketball player gets possession of the ball, his or her focus is on scoring. And then, when the other team has the ball, the focus shifts 100% on preventing the other team from scoring and getting the ball back. If a basketball player lets himself linger on a missed shot, while he's supposed to be getting back on defense, that lapse of focus is usually very costly. I see it all the time when I'm watching basketball. A player has the ball and then turns it over on a bobbled dribble and then laments for a second and then runs back on defense only to be a step behind and commits a stupid foul. I see that happening all the time, time after time in all sports that I watch. On the flip side, how many times have you seen a basketball player make a terrific defensive play and then somehow he's dunking the ball for a score 10 seconds later? I love to see players on a roll with their focus and that's what's happening in that example. And it's exactly the same with traders. Traders need to focus on solidifying their trading plan, assessing risk tolerance, market conditions, etc. That would be equivalent to a basketball player knowing the game plan based on his team's strengths and weaknesses and the strengths and weaknesses of the opposing team. A trader needs to focus on entering a trade, that's equivalent to our athlete on offense, and then exiting a trade, that would be our basketball player dropping back on defense. A trader who exits a losing trade and spends time feeling bad about it winds up out of focus and missing the next opportunity, which is like the basketball player's needless foul. The athlete's game plan needs to be followed and total focus must shift to offense and defense and then back again to offense back and forth. A trader needs to follow his or her trading plan, focus on getting into a trade as planned, and then shifting the focus to the exit strategy. It all sounds so simple, but for many traders it's not. Why? Because you are a human being and you are a complicated person. You worry about what can happen to your trade once it's on. You worry about a loss leading to another loss and maybe another loss. On and on, your mind goes on. Well, there's an easy way to solve that too. An easy way to get out of your own way. And we're going to go over that next week. And in the meantime, if you've ever played sports and you've applied your uncanny focus to win the game, hit a homer, or you make that throw to first, or sink that three-pointer with no time left on the clock, or come from behind on a 5K race to cross the finish line in personal record time. Whatever your achievement, I want to hear about it. Your past successes can be applied to your future successes, and I'm going to show you how to do that next week. So leave a comment below, and let's hear about your focused-oriented achievement. And until next week, stay disciplined.